Good evening, everybody. The Atomo girls basketball team was clutch down the stretch last night as they defeated Fairfield 48-47. Jalen Carter hit the game-winning free throw for the Bulldogs. Beating Fairfield is like one of the greatest feelings of my life because ever since we were younger, they've always been able to beat us and they've always been able to like finish through. And so like this is a big experience for me. The Crooksville girls continue to struggle on offense. They only scored 23 points last night, but things will get better if they play hard from start to finish. Compete for 32 minutes. Um, if we make a mistake, move on to the next play. I think we did a little bit better tonight, and hopefully tomorrow or Friday it's a little bit better. That's something we're going to focus on every night and trust the process. The Green City boys will play Grundy County tomorrow. This will be the Gophers' fifth road game of the year, but this is a veteran squad that feels at home away from home. I've coached a lot of these boys back when they were in elementary basketball, and so they know what I expect, and, and they know the, the stuff we run. They know it very well, and, and they're a lot of fun to coach. In high school wrestling, Kirks Hill lost to Hannibal last night. It wasn't as close as Coach James Alter thought. However, Hannibal's always been tough, you know, and we kind of ran into a hammer over there. Uh, but what we had six freshmen in our varsity lineup, and you know that, that may be expected with such a young team. But it was nice to see those guys actually go out, and you know they may have not had the outcome they wanted, but you know they, they were definitely competitive. Usually in high school wrestling, having a lot of depth is a good thing, and that's the case at Atumwa. Numbers-wise, we're, we're okay, but we have, a, we have some kids that are a little undersized. Um, we probably have maybe three guys that are wrestling up a weight, so we're kind of filling weights that way. But um, as far as the overall numbers, we're good, but we have multiple guys that, at some weights, with, which kind of, you know, is a disadvantage size-wise. Kirksill has placed five players on the all-district football team. Ethan Gooch, Joe Sellers, Thomas Copeland, Blake Lewis, and T.J. Schilling. Schilling was also named a second-team All-State punter. The Royals have traded reliever Wade Davis to the Cubs for Jorge Solar, the 24-year outfielder with tons of potential. Teresa's back with final weather. Stay with us.